Hey everyone, it's Judy here. I'm doing a New Year's resolution tag. Hey everyone, it's Judy here. Doing a New Year's resolution tag video in collaboration with my very good friend Tiffany. Um, her channel is Tiffany McBride plus five. I think it is. I am so out of breath. You have no idea. I don't know why. Probably kind of because I'm fat. <laughs> but um, anyways. So yeah, we're doing a tag and we each ask questions. Like I asked questions and she asked questions. So we're doing all the questions. Anyways, I was going to try to do this video by myself without the children. But... What can I say? So anyways, they're here. I got them some candy. Hopefully distract them from like trying to talk to me and stuff. But, um, yeah, so there's, I think there's 11 questions. And, uh, everybody is just, anywho. So, yeah, so this is a New Year's resolution tag. And I didn't prepare for these questions. Like, I didn't, like, practice them or anything. So, they're just going to be, like, I'm going to answer them just freestyle. You know what I'm thinking. But um, anyways, let's get started with the first question. First of all, I want to say hi, Tiffany. I thought that your questions were really good. Um, so I can't wait to answer them. But anyways, so the first question is, where am I? Oh, what do you want to achieve this year? First of all, I want to start eating healthy. I want to try and lose weight on my own, even though the whole surgery didn't happen. Um... I want to move into our own place, me and my boyfriend and my kids. And there's more. I guess the main thing is probably being healthy, being healthier. Um, I'm not trying to be like all skinny. I don't. I'm not trying to look like Beyonce or anything like that. But you know, I want to lose like at least a hundred pounds. But my goal for now is try to lose twenty pounds and then work my way from there. Because if I say a hundred, it seems like forever. But yeah, so that's like my main thing this year. Um, I want to try to lose weight because I want to have another baby. And I really want to be healthier for, the, you know, if I get pregnant again. So yeah, hopefully lose some weight. And um, yeah, let me look at the other question. Second question, what do you want to change about yourself? Um, what I want to change about myself is my attitude, like my... I have a very short temper. I'm like I have anger problems. Like a lot of people don't even know how angry I can get. But um, that's one of the, one of the things I want to work on is try to be more patient. You know, not try to like not try to get angry so easily at little things. Like you know, try to be more positive and have a better mood. So yeah, that's what I want to change. Number three, what are your plans for the new year? Excuse me. So my plans for the new year is, like I said, hopefully try to get a little bit healthier. Um, you know, move out. We want to find our own place. Um, I also, I want to start doing like makeup videos. Um, as you can see, I've been kind of doing a makeup like different right now. It doesn't look that good because it's already like late, so... But, um, so I don't know, I'm like, I've been really thinking about either doing another channel where I'm talking about, like, health and beauty, like, calling it, like, being a health and beauty channel. Anyways, these kids are driving me crazy, and I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I've been thinking about opening or doing another channel, just talking about, like, maybe doing makeup tutorials, like, maybe, maybe, you know, I'm not saying, like, for sure, or... Like doing like a weight loss journal or diary. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I should do it in this channel. Like, I don't know. I, that's like a work in progress. Like, I still, I really don't know. But that's what my plans are for the new year. Um, Yeah, those are just the major, major plans. And um, number four, what's your number one new year resolution? It's kind of the same question. No, my number one resolution is going to be to try to take care of myself, not just like health-wise, 
but you know I feel like ever since I had my kids I kind of let myself go not only in like weight but you know I don't fix myself like I used to like I don't take care of myself like I used to I feel like you know I'm always busy you know I used to always get my nails done do stuff to my hair fix my hair real nice and all this stuff and now I feel like I just I don't do any any of those things so that's I think that's gonna be like my main resolution is try to take care of me more you know obviously my kids but try to pay more attention to me like not just forget all about me you know so yeah that's gonna be my main resolution for this year and how long do you want to give yourself to achieve that goal oh um well immediately you know I ever since this year I've been trying to like you know fix myself more and not just for me but you know if you're with your partner you know you want to look good for them too and so I've been trying to get myself fixed up more like even when I go to work I get like all fixed up and I used to not so but yeah <laughs> you want to give me a kissy <laughs> But yeah, so those are the five. Now I'm going to move to Tiffany's questions. What was one thing you were doing in 2015? Um, 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 I would have to say the biggest regret would be getting my birth control. My next blonde implant in my arm. Just because... I already want to take it out like I'm, I feel like I should have never gotten it but I got pressure to getting it and you know I'm not trying to have another baby like right now but I think that my method was working you know I was taking care of myself I could you know do use the whole calendar and stuff making sure you know that I wouldn't get pregnant and you know my boyfriend told me you know you should get that thing out and you know I don't know why you got it and I'm like you know what they I feel like I was forced like they kept bugging me and bugging me about it so I'm like you know I just put it in there you know I'll pick a birth control I want that one that's it so that's probably my biggest regret it's not like it's bad I mean it's it's not bad but I just feel like I get more I have more like mood swings but I don't know so yeah that's gonna be my biggest regret what's the biggest lesson learned in 2015 biggest lesson learned was that I don't know just because I okay this is my biggest lesson I know what it is just because I have kids doesn't mean that I should have let myself go like I did like I kept saying I have my kids now I don't need to worry about anything you know I got my kids now I don't need to worry about you know this and I don't know how to explain it I was just kind of like I don't care anymore you know but you know I should care because I should be the example for them so that's that's what um my biggest lesson learned was I guess so I don't know if I answered that correctly how did 2015 affect your decision on a resolution for 2016 okay so like I said I have so many plans um one of them being you know trying to lose some weight well that one my friends is just simple because I feel like I am less active I feel like I struggle more with things. My knees are hurt. My legs are hurt. Paleta? Like, I feel like I can't sit for very long periods of time because I feel like my circulation to my legs are, like, being cut. Like, there's no circulation or something. So, that's how it affected. And I was, like, I seen a video of me or a picture where I was, like, full body. And I was, like, God damn freaking I was like I did not like how I looked and also and I was like bling you know what you need to change you know you shouldn't wait for a new year just to you know do new things but you know it just kind of motivates you like oh it's a new year I'm gonna do new things and you know it actually does work so that's 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 what affected my decision was that I just didn't feel good and I felt like so low on energy I don't know but yeah and the next question, what changes in 2015 do you want to continue improving in 2016? Okay. So 2015 was a good year for me. Because 2015 is the year that I decided that I didn't give a damn about what anybody thought about me. And I was always the kind of person that was so self-conscious. 
I would hide. I would never go out. I was always in my room just because I felt ugly and fat and nasty. But guess what? Last year, I was like, you know what? Everybody can just, you know, whatever. I'm going to go out. I'm going to live life. You know, nobody's living my life for me. Nobody's, you know, feeling what I'm feeling. Like, hiding from the world. Like, I just didn't care anymore. So, you know, I started doing more stuff. Going to the parks. Getting in the lake. Going swimming. So, yeah. That's what I want to keep improving. Like, I want to keep feeling more confident. You know. And just not caring what people think about me anymore. Like, I can go. I used to, like, walk and be like, oh, my God, this person's staring at me. Oh, my God, this person's. This. Sometimes I look and if they're staring at me, I'm just kind of like, you know, what? You know, what are you looking at? Because I just don't care anymore. And it's like, it's my life. I'm going to live it. I'm not going to be in a box, you know. So, that's definitely um, a change I had in 2015 that I want to continue improving in 2016. And the next question, what were you most grateful for in 2015? The thing that I was most grateful for is that I stopped working for, I would say, five months. And then I actually had the chance to not work. Like, we weren't, like, we weren't, we don't make a lot of money. Like, my boyfriend doesn't make a lot of money. But since we were living at my mom's and it kind of helps out that we, you know, split the bills. I felt, like, comfortable enough to not work to where we wouldn't be like, oh, my God, we don't have money for this or that. So I'm very grateful that I got the chance. Oh, that's not even opened. Poof. I just took up. Thought he was giving me some of that while he popping it to have a damn wrapper on it. So definitely that um, having the chance to not work and be you know spend time with my kids. So that, I was very grateful for that. How do you plan on being a blessing in others? No, a blessing to others in 2016. I don't know how to answer that. All I can say is, I guess, try to help out more, you know, try to be a better mom to my kids, try to be more patient with them, just try to have a better attitude. That is just, I think that's the main thing that I have is a lot of attitude and a lot of people have told me you have such an attitude. I mean, lately, not lately, but like, you know, there's been times where I've been told that I have an attitude problem, but I don't kidding but yeah so i think that's that's how i'm gonna answer that question just try to be more helpful with people try to be more positive you know hopefully if i keep making health health and beauty videos like if i do like the weight loss thing on here which i don't know if i want to do it because you know i'm so embarrassed when i usually try to eat healthy and try to lose weight i always keep it to myself because if i don't lose weight and somebody sees me eating a Twinkie, they'll be like, what happened to your diet? <laughs> so, I usually am very reserved about that. But at the same time, if I do do it, you know, and I do, you know, go through with it and actually start losing weight. Like, maybe I'll be motivated because I'll be like, alright, people are looking at me. And now I have to really do this to prove that I can do it. And if I do lose weight, hopefully, I could be a blessing to other people by motivating them to, you know, like, hey, you can have kids. You can have no energy or, you know, and still be able to do this. So, excuse me. So, that's it. Hopefully, um, I answered those questions right. I feel like I'm kind of being rushed. Even though I'm not being rushed. But just because my kids are here, I feel like they're going to start going crazy any second now. So, but yeah. So, it was a fun tag. So, yeah, that's it. Hopefully, you know, I pull through with my goals. Um, Tiffany, good questions. And I really, I had a lot of fun answering these, and I can't wait to watch your resolution tag. So, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Um, I'll probably do more videos, you know, if I do decide to do the health and beauty. Like, you know, I don't know. What happened? Why are you crying? So, anyways, I don't know if we'll do if I do so I don't know if I will do that other channel but if I do like I've already thought na about names like you know my name is Yudi and I was thinking about calling it like Yudi Health and Beauty get it it rhymes but uh, I don't know uh but I'll definitely let you, let you guys know all right I'll see you guys in my next one bye